Hi, Hope Kids and Jam friends! Imagine your dad's boss telling him to move to a new place for his job, but he doesn't tell him where that is. Your dad's boss just tells him to pack and be ready to go. What would you think? To move like that would take great faith or trust in that boss. Something like this happened to a person who lived long ago. Listen carefully to learn about Abram's faith and how he comes to trust in Jesus alone. Did you know that Abraham's name used to be Abram? God chose Abram to bring God's glory to all the nations. God didn't choose him because of the good things he had done. In fact, Abram lived in a place where people didn't love or follow the one true God. They worshipped statues and fake gods. They trusted these false idols to save them. One day, God told Abram to leave his country and his father's house to go to a new land that God would show him. God did not even tell him where he would be going. He must have felt confused and scared to leave his home and comfort. It would take great faith in God for Abram to follow him to this new land. With this instruction, God also promised amazing things to Abram. God would make Abram's name well known throughout the world because through Abram, the world would see God's goodness and love. God even promised that Abram would have a lot of land and children. Remember, name, land, and children. All these things seemed impossible for Abram to believe. Abram didn't have any land and he wasn't anyone important. Also, Abram was old and didn't have any children. How was God going to do all these things? Why did God promise him all this? Abram had done nothing to deserve these things. God chose Abram and made these promises to him because God was going to bless all the families of the world then, now, and even in the future through Abram. That was God's plan. All people would know how great and awesome God is. But how was God going to do this? How would God's plan show His glory to people from all nations? Even Abram did not know the details of God's plan. Abram did not know where to go, but God knew. Remember, God knows everything, the past, the present, and the future. Remember that word? He is omniscient, all-knowing. Abram trusted the one who knows everything. So Abram, his wife, his nephew, all his servants, packed all their belongings and set out on their journey. It must have been hard for 75-year-old Abram to travel. On the journey, they would also need things to cook with, their clothes and food for the people and their animals and livestock. Abram could have doubted God's plan for him, but he didn't. He had faith in God's promises and trusted that God knew what was best for him. Remember God had promised Abram he would be great? God would give him land and would make Abram's family a great blessing to all the nations of the world? Well, today we know what that means. From Abram and Sarai came the 12 tribes of Israel, and finally Jesus, the Savior of the world. Abram's children had children, and they had children. Do you know that song? Father Abraham had many sons, and many sons of Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's just praise the Lord. That song comes from this story. Thousands of years later, Jesus was born through Abram's family. We can be thankful for the faith that Abram had. In faith, Abram and his family journeyed until finally they came to the land of Canaan. In Canaan, the Lord appeared to Abram again and told him this would be the land given to Abram's family. So in that place, Abram built an altar to the Lord, praising God. When you have faith in Jesus as your Savior, you become a part of the blessing promised to Abram thousands of years ago. When Abram put his faith in God, it was counted as righteousness. He was declared right with God. Will you believe on Jesus so you can be made right with God?